What is good, y'all? It's your boy Jay back with another quick video. So, I know it's a lot of videos out here on um, mods, first mods, or top 10 mods, but I wanted you to do a uh, smart mods video because these are things that if I'd have known about when I first got the car, probably would have saved me some money. So, uh, let's get into it. For those with a translucent roof, I would say PPF. Not the entire car, unless you can, but definitely this part here. Let's see, get a good look at this. Mine is PPF covered just on the translucent part. You can see this little lip here that goes over it. And that is because, let's see if I can look on the inside here. Suck the cups are on there pretty good. So, uh, you can't tell with this camera here. Probably with my other one either. I'll try to get a better shot. But there are micro cracks in this glass here. And if I had got this PPF wrapped when I first got it, I probably wouldn't have those micro cracks now. Maybe if I. Was, there are some here. Uh, give me a second. Let me see if I can wipe that. So this one is really hard to show um, through the camera and with this lighting. So you're just gonna have to take my word for it. I'm gonna stop trying to pull this off and show it. But there are. Um, little micro cracks in the translucent roof and you can see it pretty bad if you're inside the car one of the other reasons i got one of these because i don't want just i just got tired of looking at it and um to replace this is like six hundred dollars so if you can get a ppf and yours doesn't have cracks i would recommend getting a ppf asap especially if you don't have a garage and you don't garage keep it but um yeah that didn't cost me much at all. The homie car said, shout out car said's uh, manual took care of it and he didn't charge me much at all. Moving on. So this next one, also pretty important. Uh, especially if you got your car bottomed out. So you can't see it, but uh, curb alert. It's a piece of, uh, it's not that high tech, but it's a little box and it mounts just below underneath the uh, bumper here. And it beeps anytime you get close to a curb. If you're in one of those areas where you can't always back in and uh, it'll save you, man. A lady actually took the M6 and she drove it over a parking median in the parking lot and tore up the front, front splitter. So if I'd had curb alert on that car, she would have gotten the, the beep, beep, beep noise and she would have stopped. So it can save you, especially if you're doing what I'm doing and renting cars, but um, also not very expensive, very worth it, very smart. Add curb alert to the front of your splitter. This isn't sponsored by the way, but if they want to give me another one, I'll take one because I got another car, I can use it. And for the next one, we're still in the front of the car because a Z06 grill. I think that is a must. Not really a smart mod, more of a um, cosmetic. But we all know that uh, this, this isn't it. So, I mean, you can take the cheap method and you can uh, plasti dip it, a little brace face, but in my opinion, the Z06 grill is the way to go. It's just too easy and it looks too good, regardless of the color of the car. Yeah, that Z06 grill makes a huge cosmetic difference. So, moving on. So, next. I didn't bring my old steering wheel with me, but a steering wheel is a must. Like, 
I don't know what Chevy was doing when they shipped the stock steering wheel, but an aftermarket steering wheel, it really lights up the inside of the interior. Like, So I know Nelson makes uh, pretty good steering wheels, but to be honest with you, I got this off of eBay for like 200 bucks. It didn't cost much. Obviously it's an easy install. It came with everything I needed. And uh, yeah, man, it's night and day difference over the stock. So before I continue, I'm gonna get the obvious one out of the way. I don't think there's any uh, Corvette muscle car mod video that doesn't mention an exhaust because uh, unless you got a Mustang or a GT350, those things sound great out the factory. But Corvettes, yeah, we're all right. We're not winning, winning no uh, rev battles, that's for sure. But I have a Corsa uh, X-Pipe and the MPP exhaust, and it's right around perfect. It's not too loud. <laughs> or at least an X-Pipe if you already don't have one, which you probably do because that's pretty much what we do. So I got one more that's not really a mod, but it is smart. An extra key. So if you didn't know, the C7s are prone to uh, anti-theft issues and a lot of it has to do with the key. Um, they tend to lock you out to where you can't get the car started and you can't do anything when it's like it's, it's bricked pretty much. You never think about it until you need it. So I would say get a spare key if you don't have one. Mine only came with one, so I had to get a spare. That's the last one that's like not really a mod. So moving on. So the next one. Wheels and tires. It makes such a huge difference. It's like, it's almost the first thing you see after you see the car. And if you have a base sting rate, then the stock wheels are uh, pretty bad in my opinion. That's just me. So I would probably uh, make this my first mod. This actually was my first mod for my car. Wheels and tires. If you have a Z06 or a Grand Sport, which is really unfortunate, you guys have the wheels that crack. So another reason to get some more, which sucks, because those are expensive on that car. I think my set ran me two Gs total. Um, probably more than that, to be honest with you. I have to. Yeah, definitely Wilson tires, definitely a must. And uh, moving on. So going back to the front of the car. say a clear bra definitely the cars are low and they are prone to rock chips Let's see if we can get in here real quick as you can see mine has got chips uh, lots of imperfections here and the clear bra is actually not that expensive I will link a that's pretty highly rated in the uh, description here because I really wish I would have done that when I first got the car. And that about does it, you guys. I hope that you found this helpful. I hope that you actually get some of this stuff done because I guarantee you some of these are going to save you some money and others will definitely help with the appearance. So... <sighs> Thanks for checking me out. Thanks for sticking with me. All the links to everything will be in the description below. Uh, if you're wondering what's been going on, why it's been taking so long with the videos and stuff, I'm super busy, man. Like, super busy. Like, Toro, and I got a bunch of stuff going on with the house. I'm trying to get a HELOC done. It's hard. It's like when people ask me to do stuff, I, let me check my schedule. Like, it's for real out here. But, um, hope y'all found this helpful and not just like every other mod video out there um that's about it y'all enjoy i am gone <laughs>